I'm here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi because I have had a tremendous number of people that have asked me to review the Forest River Cardinal Estate model. And they happen to have a really, really beautiful 2018 model here. So we're going to take a look at this coach and see what it's all about. And this is the 3825 front living room, rear master bedroom with the center kitchen area. Let's take a look at some of the numbers on this unit. So this unit has a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,000 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 3,050 pounds. So it has a pretty good payload capacity for what it is. 8,000 pound axles, 17 and a half by six inch wheels, and two 1575 R17 tires. Now look at your tire pressure, 123 PSI per tire. I really like the fact that they put this keyless entry now on a lot of these higher end coaches. And it's an option, of course, you can add this to your coach. It's really nice to have this programmable keyless entry, especially if you take a lot of excursions, you go out and you don't want to have to worry about carrying your keys with you. So we're coming in through the back entrance of this unit. This is a rear bedroom unit. What's really nice about it is this unit has three AC systems and they're all whisper quiet. So you have a rear AC system exclusively for the bedroom, which is really nice. As well as your thermostat here on the wall. This is a queen size bed, even though it's optional to get a king size bed. One of the ways you can tell if you have that option is when you see the nightstands kind of squeezing into the side of the queen size bed. It means that if you get this in a king option, it won't have those and the mattress will extend to the entire width. This particular unit has a 32 inch TV in it. Of course, at this price point, you're definitely gonna get the night roller shades. And here is gonna be your washer and dryer hookup or just a large closet area. So it's kind of a dual purpose area, but there are your connections here, wall connections, and then up top, you have a hanging bar. Very large closet in this model too has a extremely nice closet area. Again, at this price point, you're generally gonna have the option to equip it with like a Dyson vacuum, which this one comes with. A Lot of room, plus there's actually a shelf above as well. So you have a lot of storage above the closet area. Much more residential style. And then on the bottom portion, you have this really nice drawer here for shoes, socks, whatever you need to put in there. You also have two chairs in here, and these two chairs are gonna be for the kitchenette area, which I'll show you in a little bit. If you opt for the queen size bed, you're gonna have about 20 inches of space on this side, and probably about 14 inches of space on the other side. A king size bed is gonna make this area much tighter. Really nice cabinetry. And from a Forest River brand name, I know they own all sorts of brands, this particular coach is going to be among the highest end model they make. Here's the shower area. Of course, one piece shower, very good size shower as well. You really don't have to worry about how tall you are in a coach like this. It's a full profile unit and you have at least eight, nine feet of space to the ceiling in this unit. Plus, of course, an adjustable shower bar. And the top of the shower right here is gonna be right at probably the seven foot mark. So even if you're a tall fella, this is gonna be fine for you. Really nice bathroom area. So you have pantry space, whatever you need to use this for, toiletries and such. And on this side, you have a really, really nice vanity as well as a solid surface countertop right here. And this is actually a Corian type material. So it's not a laminate material. Lots of cabinets and drawers and roughly two and a half feet of space between the front of the toilet and the sink area. So you have a lot of room to sit down in this unit, especially for those people who ask which coaches have the best largest bathrooms, especially for bigger folks. Now stepping into the center area, very, very nice kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. It gives you a tremendous amount of counter space here as well as counter space here. So you get a lot of counter space. It has its own 32 inch TV in the kitchen, full residential refrigerator by LG. That's really nice. Plus it has an induction cooktop. So if you're used to cooking on an induction stove, one of the nice things is even with the stove on, if you touch it, it's not gonna burn you. The pot itself might, but the cooktop won't. 
has a high-end oven below it as well, which is really nice, and a massive pantry. So this is really, really nice. This is a special feature. So on this coach, you're gonna get a pantry that's about two feet deep and about two and a half feet wide with pull-out drawers in the bottom, and these are fully extended pull-out drawers that give you just a tremendous amount of room for pots, pans, dishes, whatever you need to store in here as well. Plus, the kitchen is very residential-like, so you have a lot of cabinets up around the top here, LED lighting, as well as cabinetry across the bottom here, so all of this. Drawers, you just have a lot of room here, and you have additional cabinetry and space on this part of the kitchen. Very nice cabinets. Again, you get the Whisper Quiet AC unit in the middle as well. So there's three AC units in this coach. You should never have a problem with a coach like this keeping you cool. Plus, this is a full-time rated RV. Here's your dinette. Those two chairs that we saw in the closet would sit on either side of this table as well, so you can seat up to four people on this table. While we're here, might as well go over the price. This has an MSRP of $125,000. The sale price on this unit is $87,956. And this is a convection microwave as well. Plus, if you look at the back end of this, very nice. That is real tile. You can just see how thick it is off of the wall. Very nice dual basin sink. Stainless steel. Solid surface. Corian. Going up the stairs. This is a front living room model. Sorry it's so dark in here, but they have all the roller shades down. Let's put a couple of these up and you should be able to see a little better. This is a front living room model, and the headspace in this unit is probably right at about seven feet in the very center. It has a radius ceiling that actually arches around. Huge, huge 65-inch TV. Nice wide fireplace, storage on each side. Very residential feel to this unit. You have nice crown molding compared to many coaches. Nice decorative molding on the slide tops themselves. Another Whisper Quiet AC unit for the living area. So this coach is going to be a very comfortable coach to be in full time. Plus, you just have some really nice seating area as well. You have two sofas. You have a sofa here and you have a sofa on the other side right here. Plus, you have reclining theater seats here and a window right next to it. So that's really nice actually. Having a window right here is very, very nice if you're gonna be sitting here and you wanna look outside of the coach. And you have windows all around this living room area. This is a very popular floor plan. And then you have your second entry exit right here as well. This is actually the primary entry exit and you have one in the master bedroom. Let's take a look at the outside of this model. This coach does have the upgraded Moride pin box, which is a great upgrade for this type of unit. Plus, it has auto leveling, of course. Here's your auto leveling controls. Take a look underneath at the Z-frame. So this uses a 12-inch I-beam as the main section, and then it drops down to a 10-inch lower beam here underneath, which is your Z-frame. Full body paint on this unit just makes it look gorgeous. I absolutely love the look of full body paint on these coaches, and it is actually functional as well. You are less likely to have exterior finish problems with paint versus decals. Decals are going to fade, they're going to come off, you're going to have issues over time, whereas on a coach like this, you really never have to worry about it. You just clean it like you would a car, and they'll pretty much last you for the life of the coach. This coach has the Saloon S637 tires on it, same tires that I have on my coach. But the difference here is that these are 17.5 inch wheels and tires. All fiberglass rear cap, plus a trailer receiver on the back, so you can hook a bike rack or something to it. Has the Moride step above steps, same steps that I added to our coach. Take a look at this pass-through. This thing is just massive, especially because of the drop frame. If this did not have a drop frame, then it would pop about five or six inches higher, and you'd lose a little bit of space. But because this has the drop frame, it gives you a tremendous amount of space underneath. 
So a lot of people will look at this coach in my video and say the front end of it is sitting so low you're taking the risk of hitting something if you go over it. And that's not really the case. So it does sit pretty low, but this is sitting excessively low right now because of the hill that we're on. Basically, the slope of the concrete right now is sloping down towards the back and to level out the inside so you can walk around it without, you know, walking at an angle, it's leveled out so the front is sitting low. But that's not how low this unit would traditionally sit if you are going to be using it at a campground on a somewhat level pad. And though this unit doesn't have a pre-installed generator, it is set up for a generator. You have your generator box here as well as your dual battery compartments here and all your cable and wiring back here. Your leveling system is a hydraulic leveling system. Here's your hydraulic fluid right here. And another nice feature of the Cardinal, especially with the full body paint, is that they actually paint the sides of the slides as well. So this is also painted as part of the paint package that the coach receives. Nice LED lighting here on the front cap. And it has a beautiful front cap to it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, like and share, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you.